a medical report to tell you about this morning. It turns out pot doesn't harm your lungs in moderation. All medical studies say in moderation. Uh, it's a 20-year study that shows that marijuana, smoking marijuana, doesn't do the same kind of damage that smoking tobacco does. Elizabeth Cohen joins us uh, from Atlanta this morning. So it sounds to me, Elizabeth, like we always say in moderation when we're talking about these stories. Tell me a little bit about this study and what exactly in moderation means. Right, that is the key question. So Soledad, they followed 5,000 people and found that when they smoked at low levels, it actually possibly might have helped their lungs moderate levels didn't seem to matter high levels that did indeed seem to do some damage to their lungs so let's take a look at what those levels are two to three times a month would be considered low and that's where it actually might possibly have helped once a week over a period of decades once a week over a period of decades didn't seem to really hurt or help necessarily what was considered high what was considered damaging was daily pot smoking for more than seven years so they weren't looking at they were looking at damage to the lungs. They weren't looking at cancer and they weren't looking right. at sort of other things as well in the study. Is that right? Exactly. And you know what, Soledad, we've noticed that this is the number one story on CNN.com written by my colleague Ann Curley here at I'm CNN shocked. Medical. <laughs> and right. Exactly. We're because, stunned. We're stunned here. <laughs> because everyone is so excited that, you know, this candy has been with... Googling it all morning. <laughs> <laughs> but what I want to say is that people shouldn't get too excited about this because as you pointed out all they looked at was lung function other studies have shown that people who smoke pot are more likely to have cognitive problems more likely uh, to have memory problems more likely to develop depression and psychoses so you know sure your lungs might be okay but you might be psychotic so Keep that in mind. But it was interesting to see in this yeah, report. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it is one of those either or. Like <laughs> but, but seriously, it, it's interesting to see that they thought that there might be something in the smoking of pot that actually could be beneficial to your lungs, like protect you against the chemical compound, right, of the marijuana. Isn't that right? I, actually, that, that tobacco doesn't do. What, what's interesting is that these low levels where it might actually help your lungs, it's not really because of the chemical in marijuana necessarily. It's because you're doing such deep inhalations and exhalations. I mean, I hate to compare it to yoga but it's a little bit of the same thing so these folks are inhaling <laughs> deeply <laughs> and exhaling See, and that seems to help like their yoga. lungs right. so they couldn't necessarily remember you know I feel anything like i need we need to go out on a limb here and say we're not comparing this to yoga right. <laughs> disclaimer this is not like yoga, yoga. <laughs> not not like yoga you thank you not yeah. like yoga I at all appreciate the, other that. Health, the other health risk the other because health risk how much of your life you end up spending watching South Park. Okay, that's <laughs> right. I mean, that's, all correlated. All right, so there's, there's a whole other set of risks Oh, it's here all circled the about. drain. Elizabeth Cohen for us uh, updating us on this story that apparently, you know, we're laughing, but like this is the number one story on CNN.com. Is that is right? It, the number one story on CNN? Go figure. It says something about our viewership, doesn't it? All right, Elizabeth. It's coveted 18 to 34. Come on. All right, it's the coveted demographic. Yeah, absolutely. Elizabeth, thank you. Thank you. We're circling the drain. Still ahead this morning. We'll do our review.